Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Hey, Bravehearts, Urbanites, and Coach Manhattans. And welcome to my early morning Saturday. It is just beyond 7.30 a.m. in the DMV. And I am shuffling cards for it to direct this conversation I'm about to have with you. And so, just so you know, the great mother dragon, the Empress Oracle, is in presence today. Real baffled about some things. She always seems to get misconstrued. She gets lost in translation a lot of times. And so, we are here to talk about it. We are here to talk about it. So, here's what's on the whiteboard today. <laughs> this is what's on the whiteboard. So, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands. So, even if you was to think about those two cards, right in the beginning, you think, genuine love, genuine intent, but still the, the mystical, magical chances of it going either way. Because honestly, when a new energetic entity crosses your path, especially when we're talking engagement, rules of engagement, with Dylan inside of the virtual spaces. There's honestly no way to tell. There's no way to tell who arrives with the intentions that they arrive with. And so it leaves us to our imagination. It leaves us subjected to the way we perceive things, right? So let me tell you a little something. <laughs> when I show up, I share. Very rarely do I pop up, whether it's in your comments, in your inbox, in your direct messaging, most often I arrive offering something. For one, I don't do small talk. And let me say this, because we in virtual spaces, it's hard to truly be able to pinpoint. As a matter of fact, whether even if you're dealing with some, someone in person, like only time can tell. But the true value is we're in this realm to experience. We're in this realm, so we're in this realm transmuted into flesh so that we may see that which is happening. We came here to ex experience the good, the bad, and the urban ugly. So, I now live and exist in a space where there's this thing that um, folks are so scared and spooked out by shit they don't understand. And I'm used to it. I literally am since I was little. Like used to showing up on the set and the first impression is of someone wanting to be able or aiming to be able to understand me. And in there's in their cycle of being stumped, they have to rely on their own 
satchel, their own bag of perception. They can't go beyond that. Only experiences will expand awareness. So if I am new on the scene and I come freely distributing, I'm the key maker for Pete's sake. Come on. I'm the Mad Hatter. I show up just like, here, take a look at this. Here, take a look at this. Here, take a look at this. But see, if anybody would just sit for a moment, which folks have returned to me and said, Lord, what was the Lord Leary or you at first? But whatever it is that you dropped at my doorstep, you didn't tell me what to do with it. You just said, here, this may help you. And then you walked away. And at that very moment, that supreme moment, what do you do? You have the choice to kiss it or diss it. You have the choice to examine it, scrutinize it, do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. But I don't come telling you what to do with it. I don't even come telling you, you owe me something or I need you to circle back or nah, like literally been doing it for years. It's my pleasure to show up and drop off something. Why? Because I understand perplexity. I understand uncertainty. I understand unclarity. And I know what these little nuggets have done in prosperity of my certainty, my clarity, my perception, my awareness, the cultivation of my consciousness. And what's quite honorable about, honorable about what it is that I do be dropping off is because I found all these nuggets of intellectual and emotional endowments on my road to self-discovery, meaning it did not cost me any monetary currency. And so it's been on my heart for a while to give it freely, channel it freely, However, do whatever you will with it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Great Mother Dragon, Big Mama, has been invited to have certain conversations with certain folk. And because I am still in August, I'm still in semi-silence. So I'm not doing any public conversations right now. The whole month of August. And sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm better at it than not because life shows up and you have to use your vocal cords or you have to be in communication with folk. Understandable. But for the most part, I am in silence, really picky and choosy about when I vocalize. It's my form of yearly homage to my collective unconscious and what it is that they are doing with me, what they send me here to do. I ain't come here to rob you or steal you of your focus. Ooh. <laughs> so I knew, I know that was for me and it's all good. Baby, you ain't the first, nor will you be the last. But what's quite pleasing is when folks circle back and say, hey, hey you a little weird to me at first. <laughs> but I see the, consist the consistency in how you do things. And I'm down for that. So young sire, I don't show up bringing malice to the palace. That's not my MO. That's not my modus operandi. My my that's 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 not how I do shit. <laughs> but anywho, and 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 let me just say, like, and this is what most like unfamiliars, this is what spooks them out, is me not even knowing. Like, I literally live the life of the key maker. I'm in this little room. And I just produce as the intuitive hits come to me. So if at the wee early, and that's when it's condensed, that's when my conversations with the unknown 
really truly comes, right? And so it says, check this out. Check it out. And this isn't just for one, two, three people. This is for everybody I know. If it says call them, I call them. If it says send them this information, I send them this information. And most often, it shows up right at the moment when they need it. If in conversation, I say, go look at this, go check this out, da 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 it usually works out. Hardly ever do I forward something that rewards in malice. So, what I decided to do in August, just continue to prep for the conversations that I am lining up in September. And September usually is a highly intellectual, concentrated type of month, meaning, meaning that I am inputting and outputting simultaneously, and it's usually a, a very energetic, expending, expanding type of month. And so over the years, this pattern has had me begin to prepare for it by going into silence or even semi-silence in August. So preparing for these conversations and seeing is that I am on a mission. I am in hot pursuit of a dream that keeps me up at night. It is all about connecting dots. It's all about uniting in the sharing of intellectual and emotional exchange. Why? Because that has been the core component of a curse that have folks that look like me under the eight ball for generations and generations and generations. And what has been the catalyst of most of this? The non-sharing of information. So, I took up the devotion to be free with that which I am discovering and studying. So all of that to say, in preparation to these conversations that I am about to have, mainly because it is latched into my life's work, I will produce the context that will be needed to have a decent conversation so that the most can be infused into and out of that particular moment. I am a conversationalist. I have been prepping for this since 1990. And I mean that by saying any career sanction that I've ever had, whether it was certified as a professional or pursuing a degree as a professional, whatever it was, that I was intrigued or part of to become a prof professional, <laughs> a quote unquote, a labeled professional has always had something to do with my ability to explain, interpret, counsel, and consult. Whether I'm in the salon, in the barbershop, whether I'm on a call, at the, in a nonprofit at a call center, whether I am in a, marketing management, it really doesn't matter. I am always on the front line explaining and tutoring. That's what I naturally do. I am an information sharer. That's what I do. So, I <laughs> always at some point have to get the fucking record straight. So the cards that are now in front of me is now explaining to me why every now and again I have to get the fucking record straight. So the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, I mean sorry, the Ace of Cups 
and the Two of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So, lets me know that a lot of mental energy permeates this space, but also there's passion, there is love, and there is sustenance. Remember, the pentacles resemble or, or depict sustenance, all, all things physical. And so, yes, we are still dealing with this, this, these moments of being betwixt. We are in between, we are inside liminal spaces. So we are transferring from one set of millennial energies into a different set. And all along things are being simultaneously contoured and manipulated and transmuted. We don't just say we're in the in the air in the era of psychological alchemical mystical transformations. We are actually in this shit, which means there are going to be certain people, places and things that you're going to cross their path or they're going to cross your path. However you meet up, in some instances, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be unexplainable. It's going to be intimidating and intriguing all at the same fucking time. Now, if it shows up and tries to demand, then yeah, take a, 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 a more closer look. See if you can simplify the intent, hone into it, dig into it and see what it is. If in fact you're into those things. If your intuitive hit say, pay no mind, drop it like a hot potato and keep it moving, do that. Cause some things ain't meant for everybody. And it really isn't yours to have and to hold. But as I often say, two people can be standing in front of the same concept and it rubs one way, it rubs one the wrong way and rubs the other the right way. Free will and choice will forever be yours. Will forever be yours. And I'm looking at the panel of cards that affirms what it is that I'm saying. Not all passions are for all people. Some things it takes time to mature and grow before your impression will change from its initial stance. First impressions are not always the best impression. And I don't have to prove that to you. It's enough life to prove that. That's, that, that, that proof is in the pudding. It stands all on its own. So, I'm going to close this out with my journal entry from the early morning. And when it's, like I said before, when it's real early in the morning like that, it makes me feel like it's concentrated mercury. And so, you know, concentrated mercury, you can't handle with your bare hands. If you know anything about the transmutation of alchemy if you truly understand the essence and the equivalence of the quintessentialness of alchemy you understand that most often you're dealing with mercury you're dealing with communications you're dealing with that you cannot touch you have to engage it with your senses There is no true way for you to know at this point. And besides, the powers that be 
are amongst and upon a cointail spring. A new wave of IQ EQ chess is being waged and a different level of insights, hindsight, and foresight are at play. They are being pursued and patched and pieced together to transmute that which matter and that which matters of the here and now. I didn't come here to manipulate you in any kind of way. So if that's what you sense, do yourself a good deal and pay attention to that. For it is your fair warning. Because rejection is an evolutionary protection. Because you being spooked out by my presence, it will show you something. It'll show you something good. It'll show you something magical. It'll show you something mystical, and it'll show you, and it will, and it will show you something legendary. Take heed to your intuitive hits, for they are there to guide you. It might not be divinely timed for us to engage, but just know and remember the message of the sage. Whether it's this page or the next page, our, crawl, our paths have crossed. Do what you will with it. Kiss at a distance. So, Bravehearts, Urbanites, and Coach Mad Hatter. Big Mama Dragon shows up. And I think that sometimes I be suppressing her and not giving her the space to speak her peace with all of this alchemical transmutation going around. Because she honestly wants to unleash on our assumptions. But still, I think I kept it politically correct. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> because we are we are all out here in the wild unknown and when we log into or cross over the portal into the world wide web no there really is no way of knowing who you're dealing with and all these back doors and wormholes the engineers know them best so if something is going on that's a little weird and a little wacky that's honestly because we be sleeping on those that actually have the ability to penetrate perception. Honey, I'm just up here sharing my, my discoveries. <laughs> and I know that that message was for me. And so I bid you a true understanding. Take it as you will. The cards have spoken <laughs> and I wish you well.